day to lift up our Lord and Savior. He is a certain God in uncertain times. And the Bible says if two or three of us agree as touching anything, it will be done. Job 22, verse 28 says, if you decree a thing and declare a thing, it will be established. So God, we come in agreement with your word and with your name, the name of Jesus. Psalm 40, verse 17 says, you are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O God. I declare no more delays to the deliverance of COVID-19. No more delays to healing and a vaccination. No more delays to restoration of this great nation, the United States of America. For Psalm 71, 2 says, In your righteousness, deliver us and rescue us. Incline your ear and save us. Psalm 107 says, You deliver us out of distress and out of destruction. Your word will not return void, according to Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So I declare your word. I declare divine intervention and supernatural turnaround. You will restore this land. According to Psalm 118, 25, Save our nation, O Lord, and send prosperity now. For Deuteronomy 28, 8 says, Command your blessing upon this land. You said in Deuteronomy 8, 9, To bring us into a good land without any lack. For your word declares in Psalm 33, 2, Blessed is the nation whose God is Lord. So I declare you right now to be Lord over this nation, over the United States of America, and we receive your blessing over any plague, over any economic distress. You will stay the hand of the enemy according to 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 16. When 70,000 men died by a plague, David cried out as he covered himself in prayer. And the Lord answered and said, it is enough. Stay now thine hand. Lord, let that be the cry today. And let that be your answer. Lord, enough coronavirus. Enough to death. Enough to fear. Enough to poverty. Stay thine your hand. We pray over President Trump and First Lady, Vice President, and Second Lady, and this administration. I declare Psalm 89, verse 21. Let your hand establish President Trump, and let your arm strengthen him. I declare Psalm 98, 1, that your right hand and your holy arm will give him victory. We declare victory in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 58, 11 says, guide him continually. And you said in Psalm 78, 72, that you would guide him by the stillness of your hand. You declared in Psalm 43, that send out your light and truth and let him lead his household, his administration in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we pray for your mercies, for they are new every single day. And every morning your mercies are new. Your steadfast love never ceases. I declare new mercies for hospital workers, new mercies for doctors and nurses, moms and dads, pastors and clergies, CEOs and employers, for the president, vice president. God, your love is steadfast and it endures forever. So right now, wrap your arms of love around every person who is hurting, every person who is confused, scared, tired, weary, sick, lonely. Let them know your love. Let them know that you will never leave them and you will never forsake them. And in conclusion, I declare Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. I ask the Lord to do a new thing in our nation by giving waters in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Malachi 4.2 says, Jesus, arise over the nation with healing in your wings. President, one last word. Like David, who had had victory after victory after victory after victory, would face his biggest battle. It was called Ziglag. And they would take his wives and his children and the city would be burned down. And he cried and he wept. And he began to pray out to God and God gave him a word. And through fasting and praying, I believe this is the word for you and for this nation. The Lord spoke to him and said, pursue and go after them and you shall without fail recover all. Sir, the word of the Lord, I believe for this nation and for this administration is you will recover all. Incredible, Paula. Thank you.